The Maving RM1 is a new kind of electric motorcycle built in the heart of the UK. Traditionally the Midlands has been the hub of the British motorcycle industry with Triumph, Norton, BSA, Royal Enfield and Veloset all having established factories in this area. And now there is a new name to add to the list Maving. Based in Coventry this startup business was formed in 2017 by Seb Inglis Jones and will stir up with the intention of creating a retro-styled British-built electric bike with swappable batteries to take on the Chinese-built competition. Now employing a 16-strong team of predominantly ex-Triumph engineers, the firm's first model, the ERM-1 has hit the market. Only available directly from the firm via their website and delivered to your door. Maving won't have any dealer network as such however they will be opening a few pop-up shops, the first of which will be just off London's Oxford Street. While Maving are British, they have linked up with some big names for the electric tech. The hub-mounted electric motor has been built by Bosch while the battery is supplied by Samsung, both of whom have been heavily involved technically supporting the project from the start, so it is a very serious project and far from a flash in the pan. In an urban environment the Maving's low 124 kg weight really plays into its hands. Incredibly easy to U-turn in the road with bags of turning circle. You can whip it around with virtually no effort and it has all the agility of a bicycle. You can tell X-Triumph employees have had a hand in its chassis dynamics as despite its board tracker styling and skinny 19-inch wheels the RM1 is totally stable and corners well at low speed. Thanks in a large part to its somewhat limited top speed, it is also perfectly well-mannered when on the open road with no weaves or wobbles at over 40 miles per hour. The brakes are adequate at best but you don't miss abs it has combined brakes with two of the front caliper's three pistons operating independently and the last one linked to the rear brake's single piston and operated alongside the rear brake and it is nice to have both the levers bar mounted which is a nod towards its target audience who are probably moving up from an electric bike or scooter rather than traditional petrol-powered motorcyclists as such. Not exactly the most comfortable of bikes, the Maving is okay for short hops across town. Maving make no secret of the fact their bike is aimed at urban riders and that means range and performance are not really a priority so this needs to be taken into the equation. Producing a maximum of just 5.8 bhp the Maving isn't fast and its top speed is just shy of 50 miles per hour in maximum power mode. However with 118 pound-feet of torque on offer it zips away with about the same haste as a 125 cc petrol powered bike up to 30 miles per hour and has a lovely throttle action. With just one battery the range is acclaimed 40 miles with a charge time of just over 4 hours from 0 to 100%, however the optional extra battery doubles this range, as long as you are in town. Take the Maving out of an urban environment and at a constant 50 miles per hour the twin battery range is around 30 to 40 miles as it sucks the electrons. You can order the bike to be a 1 or AM license legal. However if you go for this 50cc option the bike is restricted to 28 miles per hour. The bike comes with three power modes however the lower two restrict top speed to about 30 miles per hour and 25 miles per hour, so are really only ever any use in a full on low battery situation. The analog speedo has an LCD insert that displays your battery percentage as well as trip info mode and a clock and there is the option of adding a GPS tracker system for an extra fee. Slightly disappointingly you need to remove the batteries to charge them but as they only weigh 12 kilograms this isn't a major drama. The 1920s board tracker styling certainly makes the ERM one stand out and its look is unique in the electric bike world not hiding the fact it is electric with the battery and motor very much at the heart of the bike is a great design touch and there is an overall impression that a real attention to the finer details has been paid. The brushed aluminium parts are lovely, you get braided brake lines, good quality fasteners, neat switchgear and a very high standard of paint with even the tank's logo lacquered over. 
The tank can be used as a storage compartment should you only wish to run one battery and that both battery compartments are unlocked via a switchgear mounted button. Maybing didn't have to cover the batteries in stylish aluminium and give them a real bamboo wood trim, but they did so they don't offend the eye when on charge in the corner of a room, and the stitched brown seat appears well made. It feels a quality product, which not all lower-end electric bikes do. The Maybing comes with a two-year warranty with the batteries covered by a three-year warranty.